Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to install a certificate on a network printer to avoid certificate errors when navigating to the printer's web interface. Now right now you can see that I have access to my network printer via um, my, or my network printer's web interface via HTTPS and you can see that there is also a problem um, in the web browser and it basically tells me that your connection to this site is not secure and that the certificate is invalid. And it really doesn't matter which um, web browser I use. If I use um, Internet Explorer, I'm going to get a similar warning. Uh, there is a problem with this website security certificate. Now I can continue to use this website. This is not recommended. Um, but I'm still going to get this certificate error, and I really just want to avoid this um, error altogether. So instead of using the um, self-signed certificate that the uh, printer had generated, I'm going to import um, my own domain certificate into this printer. So to do that, there's, gonna, there's um, a few things that I'm going to need. Um, I have uh, Active Directory Certificate Authority installed on this Windows Server 2012 machine. It's going to be issuing certificates from certificate assigned requests. I have OpenSSL installed on this Linux box where I'm going to be doing a variety of things such as creating private keys, um, generating certificate sign requests, and also modifying the OpenSSL configuration file. And then finally, I'm going to put um, on that printer uh, basically three files here. There's going to be the private key, the identity certificate, and then also the uh, root certificate. Okay. So I'm going to go over to my machine that has OpenSSL, where I'm going to be doing the uh, bulk of the work. And I'll start by creating a working directory. And switch into that directory. And then I'm also going to create one, a directory for certificate sign requests and then also one for private keys. I'm going to modify the OpenSSL configuration file and scroll all the way down to where it says rec underscore extensions. So it's right here. And I'm going to uncomment this line. Okay. I'll scroll down a little bit further where it says v3 underscore rec. Okay right here. And here I want to add this line to the configuration file. Subjects alt name. And the reason why I'm adding this is because I want all of my web browsers to um, trust the, uh, the web interface. And one of the um, requirements that Google Chrome actually has is that you have a subject alternative name field within the certificate. Otherwise, um, the uh, Chrome web browser will not um, will not trust the server or the site or wherever it is that you're going to. And in this case, it's my printer. Okay, so I'm adding the fully qualified domain name and also the IP address that represents that printer. Okay. And those two things will be included in the uh, subject alternative name field. I'm going to save this. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and um, use the gen RSA tool um, where I'll be generating my uh, private key for the certificate. And to specify the encryption here, which will be 256. I'm going to go ahead and output that to the, um, the, the private key directory. And I'll call this file printer.privatekey.pem and give it a modulus length of 2048 bits. I need to enter a password here for the private key. And um, we also actually need to remove. 
Now it does require a password for the private key, but we actually have to remove that um, that password um, from the uh, the private key in order for the uh, the printer to be able to use it. So we're going to use the RSA tool to do that and specify that file, which is in root, working, private, and then private key. And we're just going to go ahead and output that to the uh, same directory working private and call the file the same thing printer private key dot pen okay okay um, now we will uh, generate our certificate sign request using the rec tool this will be a new request with the key that we just created which is in working, private, and private key.pem. And we'll go ahead and output that request to the certificate sign request directory, and we'll call this printer certificate sign request.pem. Okay. Um, you can just go ahead and follow the on screen prompts here where you're entering your identity information. Okay, so country name, state, uh, location, um, organization name, organizational units, and then your fully qualified domain name. Okay, so that's the fully qualified domain name of my printer. And then the email address. And you can hit enter the rest of the way through here. Okay, so there's the certificate sign request, and now what we need to do is we need to basically um, copy that certificate sign request. So I'm going to open up that certificate sign request and go ahead and copy it. All right. And then head over to my um, search server by navigating to IIS and drilling down where it says search server, and browse on port 80. Okay, that opens up the Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Service. And I'm gonna request a certificate. Click on advanced certificate request and then paste in that certificate sign request. I'm going to select the web server template and click Submit and download that in the Base64 encoding. You can see that it's been downloaded right here. And then I also need to download the root certificate. So I'll download that in the Base64 encoding as well and click on Download CA Certificate. And you can see it's been downloaded. Okay, so if I open this up, I can see that here is my, my server certificate or my identity certificate. I can look at the details in the subject field. And there are all the details that I included in the certificate sign request. If I look at the subject alternative name field, when I mod when we modified the OpenSSL configuration file, you can see the um, um, uh, subject alternative name and also the IP address. Okay, we'll go ahead and rename this printer. And then here is basically my root certificate. You can see it's been issued by and to, um, to the same server. Okay, it's a self-signed certificate. Go ahead and rename that root. And then I also need to transfer that um, private key over here as well. Okay, so I'll be needing these three files, the identity certificate, the private key, and then the root certificate. So we can go back over to our printer now. And before we actually import these, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we do have um, correct time. So looks like it's giving me a little bit of problems here. Okay, so time. And oh, I already have those settings there so I'm just pointing to my NTP server 
And this shouldn't take long, just about a 10 seconds or so to, uh, to refresh. Okay, you can see that the sync was successful. And I'll just go ahead and change that to 24 hour format. Okay, so now where it says SSL, I'm gonna click on certificates and go ahead and um, import the certificates. First thing he's gonna ask is for that server certificate or the identity certificate. So we're gonna choose that printer certificate and then also the private key, which is right here. And then finally the root certificate. Okay. Click OK. And you see the setup was complete. If we look at, click on Confirm, we can see in the subject field that the printer now has the certificate. So we need to just complete the process here where it says server certificate on CA signed certificate. We're gonna click next. It's gonna ask for basically one last confirmation. We're gonna click okay. And the network settings are being updated. It's gonna take a little while to um, complete. Uh, it says it's gonna take a few minutes, but I don't think it will take that long. So we'll just go ahead and exit out of our web browsers and Go back in to our certificate, and this time you can see that we did not get any certificate error warnings. The connection is secure. The certificate is valid. Okay. Let's go ahead and try Internet Explorer. No error warnings. And here is our certificate. And we'll do one last one. We'll do Firefox. And we got the green lock there as well. Okay. So that's how you install certificates into um, your network printer. Hopefully this has been helpful. Have a good day.